Praise the Lord and good evening and welcome to the Encouraging Word broadcast. And just coming to you tonight uh, on a, a very uh, short psalm, but Psalm 117. And we're going to take a look at that. Let's uh, go to the Lord in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just pray that uh, tonight that you, your hand would be upon each one of us, that you would encourage those that are downcast and downtrodden. Lord, I pray that you would uh, help help each one stand for Christ in every in every way that they possibly can in these last days. And dear Lord, we do thank you and praise you for your word tonight. We ask that you would heal the sick. We ask for your strength for Esther, that you would uh, help her just continue to recover and, and overcome that dizziness. And Lord, we do thank you um, again for keeping Coco and her husband safe on the on their train trip. Uh, Lord, we just thank you for that. We ask that you would encourage and strengthen each heart. In Jesus' precious name, amen. So tonight, uh, Psalm 117, it's a very short psalm, if you've read it before. Psalm 117, O praise the Lord, all ye nations, praise him, all ye people, for his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. You know, it's very it's very important for us to, in in our lives right now, in these times right now, to praise the Lord, to bring praises unto God and to thank Him for everything uh, that He's done, everything that He's doing. Uh, we need to bring praises before God. And here it says, Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations, like all nations of men, all nations of men should praise God. All nations of men should give praise and glory to the Lord. Not just men, but, you know, also women too. When I say men, it means I'm talking about humanity, not just specifically the sex of men or fem or, 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 or women, but mankind. And, you know, oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, all the nations, uh, praise him, all you people. Everyone should be praising God. Everyone should give God the thanks and praise for life, for the blessings that he gives us each and every day, of each and every moment of each and every day. His merciful kindness is is great toward us, and God is merciful, and He is kindness, and it is. I mean, He He demonstrates mercy and kindness to us, um, and, and it's it is absolutely incredible what God does. Even when we were enemies, He was He was treating us with kindness and compassion and love. And God does this. His His mercy and His great grace are are fantastic. For His merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endures forever. His truth endures forever. His word will be everlasting. It is everlasting. His word um, will never change. It is without end. Jesus said that heaven and earth would pass away, but his words would never pass away. And the truth of the word of God is eternal. It is forever. He's never going to change his mind. He's never going to change his word. His word is you have it today in the Holy Bible. You have his word. Get into the Bible. Find out for yourself. His word is true and it endures forever. Thank God for that. Thank God that you have an everlasting promise from the Lord. Amen. Thank God that you can trust him no matter what. There is no change in God. He is uh, he is the same yesterday, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen? Um, he's, he's not going to change his mind on things. So you can go to him. Go to him now. Go to him and ask him forgiveness. Uh, go to him and ask him for help. Go to him and ask him for strength. Go to him and ask him for healing. Go to him and talk to him. Spend time with the Lord. Get into his presence and walk with him daily and be pleasing in his sight. Have it, your heart's desire is to know more about God, to get closer and be walk with him in your relationship. And then love him with everything. Love your neighbor the same way. Let love be, remember, full strength. Amen. Well, that's just a very short, encouraging word tonight, but I just wanted to bring you something that, even though short, very, very powerful. Also, I'd like to, you know, pray, continue to pray for Walt. He's dealing with um, some issues about after having a stroke, and also um, he's got some kidney issues, so please keep him in prayer. And, uh, you know, pray for one another. Pray that we might stand. Pray for your nation. Pray for the leaders. Pray for everyone. Be instant in season, out of season, right? Be prayerful at all times. Amen. Well, God bless you. We love you. God bless and we'll have a blessed night in Jesus. We'll see you tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. for Sunday school with Brian and then uh, 10.30 for our, our church service. God bless. Have a blessed night in Jesus.